bizarre murder cases have recently occurred in Raccoon City. Victims were apparently eaten. Hello, and welcome back to Biohazard, and I don't know what part this is. What part is it? Is it, is it six? I don't know. Sure. <laughs> I don't know. I now have different qualities. What does that mean? Do you mean source outputs, Captain? Anyway. I'll let him explain himself. Uh, I can stream you at 100. Wow! At least that'll be the right resolution for the game, eh, Captain? <laughs> right. So, what are we doing, Swifty? We are going back to the main house. Okay. So, I don't need those ink ribbons, but I do need all these weapons. Yeah, hunters will be. Yeah, I'm gonna keep the grenade launcher for the for the hunter, um, because that first. See, I I remember being killed by a hunter the first time I played this game, and I had assumed wrongly that the hunters came after me before Plant 42, but clearly I must have fought Plant. Why am I saying Plant? Plant 42. What's going on? Radar is here. Hey, Hello. radar. Heard about your laptop issues. <laughs> That's a major fail. <laughs> okay, so I need that key, don't I? Uh, yes. Yeah, okay. So I'll take five, five grenade rounds. And also, Hunter's a one hit kill, so I don't need to take any more health, do I? Um, it depends. If you're at full health, it'll be two hits. Okay. Um, if you are, I think anything under green, they can just do that jump and side swipe, take your head off. She's gonna go pick up her kid, Radar. School's out over there. School's out forever. Okay, uh, back. Gotta go back, back to the past Samurai Jack, yeah? All the way back. <laughs> She's gonna pick a kid up from the school. I love her yeah. use of English, it's amazing. Well, I mean, that's what we say, we say from the school. Like, here you guys drop the a lot. Yeah. And you're like, right, oh, yeah. I go to hospital, and I'm just like, what? Why wouldn't you say the hospital? Yeah, but then you drop and between numbers. So like, we'd say 1,000 and 350, whereas you say oh, 1,350. Yeah, we're told that's incorrect English. Yeah, no, here it's correct English. So, because <laughs> they're like, when you write it down, Rusty's you don't put it and. Which is right. This is Jill. Brad. <gasps> it's broken. Well, it's not broken, Jill, because you can re you can receive. Mm. You know, it's not your. It's not. What was that quote? Of it? It's not. It's not me. It's you. <laughs> Pretty much, yes. Right. I thought there were dogs here. I had to fight dogs last time. They they vacated. I'm not sure. Yeah, because they were mauling the hell out of me last time I was here. Probably wouldn't hurt to just run straight through. Or maybe maybe it was elsewhere. You know, I'm not going to waste the grenade launcher on them. Because I know the minute I open the door, we go to the cutscene of the, the hunter. Don't we? First person. It's normally, it's normally a first person suspected cutscene, right? Yeah. Yeah, I was being attacked by dogs here and they're not here anymore, so I'm grateful of that. Hmm. I'm going to take one of these plants, because I don't think... Are we ever coming back this way? No. Alright, I'll take that then. Right, this is the waterfall section, isn't it? Uh, 
uh, kind of close. We've got to go get the battery, which is what the key that we picked up will help help with. All right. So the battery. All oh, right. Yeah. The, you put the battery over there, isn't it? Yeah. And that turns off that waterfall. Right. Because that lets us have access to go up and down, and then we use the crank at the top to close that grate again. So then mm. there's no more waterfall, and then we use the elevator to get down. So radar says when the hunter enters the door, you'll be facing down the corridor it's in, but you won't be able to see it because of the camera angle. So just to fire a bazooka around. As soon as it Even. gets from the cutscene. Yep. Yep. Better safe than sorry. Absolutely. I know it's gonna kill me though, I just know it. I feel it in my bones. Maybe not. I get lucky. <laughs> <laughs> Have you been watching this playthrough? <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's loads of herbs all over the shop. Wow. Right, it's not this door, is it? It's the next door. I think it's the next, next door because you're gonna leave out of this little garden section you'll go down like the outdoor hallway the one where you put the crests in and then when you get into the actual mansion right. that's where it all do the cutscene okay yeah I've done that radar uh, great minds etc Right, yeah, so we go through this door and then it's. It's, oh, it's my imminent death. Right. Here we go then. Ah, oh, okay. Oh, here we go. Oh, fire! Okay. I think I killed it. Oh! Certainly took... And it didn't really damage me that much, actually, so... That wasn't too bad. <laughs> that always scared the crap out of me. Yeah, it scared the crap out of me just then. <laughs> I mean, this is only nearly a 20-year-old game, and it's still making me... That's why this, this game unnerves me a hell of a lot more than Silent Hill ever did. And Silent Hill is more <laughs> psychological, etc. But I don't know, I feel more comfortable playing Silent Hill, so I don't know what that says about my my state of being. But um, this one, I don't know, it always terrifies me. Okay, so um, what are we doing now? I think this door you can unlock um, on the right there. No, it was already unlocked. If I've opened the right door, of course. Uh, no, that was the crow room. The one. Oh, the other door. Okay. Yeah, the other one. Oh, I've noticed that the the same bots I have have been popping up in your streams now as well, Swifty. Oh, have they? Yeah, C Commander know, Root and Slow Call. I looked them up. They're <laughs> they're stat bots. Mm, okay. They just they just delve stats from Twitch streams. So. Yeah, uh, I really I mean doesn't matter. That's what I mean. I don't know how many how much stats you're getting from this stream. <laughs> Bloody dark in here. Yeah, I think you've turned the lamp on over by the desk.
Hey. Okay. So I guess we're reading the thing we can't read. Oh no. We've picked up something. What is that? A camera lens. Magnum rounds in here. Yeah, I think that's what he picked up. If that's what, yeah, that's definitely Magnum rounds. Oh, is that Magnum rounds? Oh, I suppose if I'd rotate it, I'd be able to see, wouldn't I? Um, then I guess we're taking it then, yes. Yeah, I'm not sure. Is this where you get one of the medals, like the wolf medal or eagle medal? I don't remember. Or is that even in this game? Wolf medals? Yeah, there's, um, to get to the, ele like, the lab, you have to use an elevator, and I think the elevator's locked, and you have to use a couple of metals. But that could just be the remake. Oh, shit. Do I need this book? Yeah. Damn it. I'm kind of... It just be it's fine, there's a save room just pretty much down the next corridor. The only thing is there's hunters, so... <laughs> Oh yeah, there's more hunters, isn't there? I'm gonna try shotgun the next hunter. But I would like to get to the save room. But then, oh no, screw it. We'll just if we get killed, guys, we get killed. You know. Expect me to suck, and you won't be up, you won't be disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so where is the save room? Oh, this door. So when you, yeah, I was gonna say when you come out, if you'll come towards the camera, it'll be the next door on Jill's left, the blue door. Radar suggests sticking to the bazooka. Well, what about when he fights Yawn? He'll need something. I don't know if the shotgun will be enough, or will it? It's been a long time. <laughs> oh. Good. I think it's take two or three shots. Yeah, it took three. They're so fast. Yeah. They're honestly the scariest monster in this whole game. Did I miss a map? No, no. They, I think that's a note from Barry. And he's like, I left some extra rounds in this room for you. So I think there's going to be ammo and health, maybe. Oh yeah. 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 Nice one, Barry. Hashtag Team Barry. <laughs> right, that's put some things away. So we haven't got the Magnum yet, have we? Uh, no. no, but we can get that in a little bit. Yeah, but I'll put the rounds away because they probably walk around with them now. And. Uh, speaking of bazooka, should we see yeah. how many rounds I've actually got? I've got six fire. Yeah, I'd probably put them all together, especially uh, if you kind of just have them all over your inventory box. That way everything's kind of together. Yeah. And um, Radar says dump the handgun, which he's right. Because you have enough shotgun shells and bazooka rounds, I think, to see you through. Okay, I'm just gonna do what you said and just put all my bazooka rounds near each other. Dump the pistol, okay. Consider it dumped. Right, so I've got six flame, six acid yellow is, isn't it? Yeah, which there's some on the floor that Barry left, so you'll have 12 total at least. Oh, I've got six standard. Let's. Put them down with these as well. Okay, so let's go and pick up what's over there. That's another. So that's 12 acid, 6 flame, and 6 standard. Is there any particularly. Bleh. Oh no, that's shotgun rounds. All oh, right, there you go. <laughs> yeah. She picked up the shotgun. Is any particular grenade better for hunters than the others? Um, I think just the regular explosive is fine. 
I don't think acid works as well, but I could just be basing that off the new one. Right. What say you, Radar? So I'll... Okay, I can't combine them in the uh, inventory tower. Don't forget to get the shotgun shells in your inventory so you don't get caught reloading in battle. Oh yeah, yeah, for sure. You should be able to combine your uh, yeah, acid just, rounds. Yeah, maybe if I put them in my inventory I can combine them, yeah. I think so. Which one's combined? It's the bottom one, this bottom one. Yeah, there we go. <sighs> What's Radar talking about? I'm sorry you had a bad day, Radar. That sucks. You, oh, you've had... Oh, sorry, right. Sorry, I thought you were talking about this game. <laughs> <laughs> um... Right, I um, want to do that. Okay. I'd say it was okay. Sorry, go ahead. Uh, yeah, sorry. Um, what's better for the snake? Um, bazooka rounds. Although you can kill it with a shotgun. No, sorry. I'll, let me rephrase. What bazooka rounds are better for the snake? Ooh. Um. I think any of them really. I think maybe flame might be best. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'll leave. I'll take the acid rounds now because I've got a feeling that that grenade launcher is already loaded with his acid rounds. I suppose um, it's, it quick... looks like no, just regular no. explosive because it's just like a normal color. Okay. Whereas when you have um, acid, it'll be orange, okay. and then flame is red. Yeah. So what we'll do then is we'll put these acid rounds back, and we will take. The standard ones, since that's what I've already got loaded, might as well. Yeah. Okay then. I probably would save it as well. Yes. <laughs> oh yeah. I'm going to need ink ribbons for that. And I need the hypest inventory gameplay on Twitch. Nah. That's all RE is about. Is <laughs> yeah. Inventory manage. Well, that's what when I watch, um, whenever I watch uh, Super Best Friends play, play any of these, all Pat goes on about is the inventory. It's, it's like that's the game for him. Is sorting the inventory. Yes. Brilliant. Right. Let's just stick that back in there. My day was uh, kind of weird. I ordered a fedora hat for my birthday. My lady. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it turned up today, but it looked more like a bloody Stetson than a fedora, so I had to send it back. I don't even know what the difference is. Uh, uh, yeah, it's a, my brother said the same thing. Um, a fedora is uh, Al Capone, gangster hat. Yeah. Whereas okay. a Stetson is a cowboy hat. Ah. Uh, I didn't know they were called Stetsons. I just would have been, this is a cowboy hat. Well, yeah, cowboy hat. <laughs> but basically, you know, because a, a fedora has a flat rim, whereas a, a cowboy mm -hmm. hat or Stetson has more of a curled up rim. Yeah, okay. You know, it's like sort of wings, and when the hat turned up, it had wings. And that's like, well, this isn't a fucking fedora, is it? This is a Stetson. Yet, you look at the picture where I ordered it from, it looks like a fedora. They're trying to pull one over yeah, on you. Yeah, trying to. I mean, <laughs> it was like 45 quid's worth of hat as well. So it was not exactly a, not exactly cheap. And uh, so I had to send it back. Yeah, and Captain, you were nearly right. It was six quid. Okay, so where are we off? I take it this key to unlock some door somewhere. Yes. Okay, radar. What would be your best, I guess, uh, strategy here? Because I know he can go upstairs, and we can go ahead and fight Yawn. Or do we wait and open up the other doors? 
You'll have to at least go upstairs, I know. <laughs> upstairs? Okay then. Yep. How much was it? Six pound and five pennies, Captain. Pence. Pence here. Still trying to remember. Well, you, yeah, ha you, okay. have, you have pennies though, don't you? Yeah, but we... They're, I mean, they're pennies, but we just call change cents. You guys call them pence. Oh, right. Uh, yes, okay. yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I'm trying to teach myself the language. Well, we technically just call it P most of the time. You know, that's so that's like, weird. yeah, that's like it's one p, two p, five p, ten p. You know, we yeah. don't, we, I don't, you don't hear pence very often, to be honest. I think you hear p and penny a lot more, but oh, well, yeah. it's, it's the hunter. Yeah. Uh, so, right, radar said it doesn't matter. You might as well go ahead and fight the snake. How do I get to the snake through this through this hunter? Yep, down that hallway. You absolute... <laughs> it's about as good as I. <laughs> well, I don't know what my brain keeps thinking it's airplane control, so I keep pushing down to look up. Ah, uh, yeah. And I don't know why my brain's doing that, because this is not anywhere near a <laughs> bloody flight sim. <sighs> it's my brain. Yeah, my brain yeah. just <laughs> sucks. Waiting for the little demon. I hope she. I hope the kid doesn't look at this stuff. <laughs> I know it's all in jest. Um, so straight down the end of the corridor, round the corner, is it? Yes, but I mean, you've only got one uh, health item. I probably would have more than one. <laughs> oh yeah, God! I nearly got torn to ribbons, didn't I, by that the snake last yeah. time? Back to the save room we go. <laughs> oh, speaking of Halloween, my uh, Terry Bogard gloves turned up today. Sweet. I have no idea what I'm even doing. <laughs> <laughs> so I've got the jacket, I've got the wig, I need to get a white t-shirt, and then the jacket has like blue and yellow stars on it and I just so happen to have bought blue and yellow electrical tape for something else so I'm just gonna stick it on the jacket into a star shape gotcha yeah. right we might as well I, I saw a double there we are I saw a uh, the makings of a blunt so we'll take the blunt <laughs> um, and you know because that snake did nearly Tear me to ribbons. We'll take. Yeah, screw it. We'll take that too. Right. Right. What's re what needs to be reloaded here? There we go. It's a bit muggy today. I found wandering the streets. Oh, it was nice here. It was like super cold. Wind was blowing. I'll take it. All right. <laughs> I mean, it was really overcast and it rained a bit. But when I went, when I was coming back from town after sending back my Stetson, I uh, found it quite muggy. No, not October yet, Miss Mum. Got my birthday first. Jessica will be here in less than two months. I am so stoked. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. I know. <sighs> I can, like, shake something. <laughs> <laughs> when was the last time you saw her? Uh, let's see, this is 2018, so it's been about a year and a half. Wow. Almost two years. Yeah. Okay, so how am I getting to the snake? So there's a door in here that that key will unlock. That brown one. Uh, uh. Oh, 
Radar agrees with me, he said it was humid. Okay, well, it was not for me. No. <laughs> you guys don't know me. <laughs> uh, oh, it's going to come out of that fire escape. Fire escape? That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Fireplace. And also, I better heal up because I'm already at caution and I didn't even realize. Yes. Damn it. Well, I would swap to Bazooka as well. Yeah. So, what I'm going to do. I'm going to use that swamp. Feeling fine after that blunt, but I just saw another one in there, so I'm just going to go grab that. Because you know I'm going to fire like seven rounds and miss it every round. Then again, there's no pillars this time for grenades to hit. Alright, let's take that. Take some herb. And then we'll go kill this snake and 420 it up. <laughs> yes, kudos, Swifty. I mean, it's, it's not that big a deal. <laughs> well, maybe not for you, but certainly for them. When's it going to attack me when I play the piano? I think you have to examine it. Yeah, I was not impressed with your... Can I... Come on, Jill, for fuck's sake, you're not in front of you. Uh. How much more does this fucking beast want? Yeah! Took all my grenade rounds. Did throw one away like a tart. <sighs> okay then. We are now minus a snake. About to witness some great berry dialogue in a minute. <laughs> oh, is this the hole in the rope? Yep. And like Radar says, you have to wait for Barry after he drops it. So, do I need to go examine the hole, do I? And that will bring Barry forth. Yep. Okay. I wonder what take we're going to have of Barry this time, eh? Since we had a different take of Barry last time, I wonder if they're going to do the same. Let's find out. Jill, have you found anything interesting? Yes, but I can't see very well. How about going down to check by yourself? I have a rope here. Oh, do you? Well, then I'll try to go down using the rope. <laughs> Wait. It's like Saturday morning cartoon. Hey, what's going on? Now I've done it. Sorry, Jill. Wait. I'll go and get another rope. Barry? 
fairy. No. Butterfingers Barry. So I literally just got to stand here and wait, have I? Yeah, that's it. All right, Jill, you wait. I'm going to drink my brew. <laughs> hey, are you there, Jill? Grab the rope. I'm sorry, Jill. I didn't know that was going to happen. <laughs> sorry. I was really careless. Are you okay, Barry? Maybe you're getting tired. No, I'm all right. Don't worry. Jill, I found something. Okay, pass number 8-083-0. Yep, that code goes into the door on the second Thank floor, I'll take which we'll get this there. Then. Okay, so could I go wandering off from when Barry dropped me down and that takes me through a different section or something? Um, it doesn't take you through a different section. You just can't climb back up. It does affect your ending. All right. So can I go down I'm that? I'm pretty sure. All oh, right. Okay. Yeah. Can I go down that hole again? Yeah, you should be able to, and you can climb back out if yeah. you need. But I think you can go down. Is there anything down well, there? I, I think you have to go down because isn't this the way to get to the battery? Because otherwise, it's locked. Or am I mistaken, Radar? Well, Radar says I can go back down there if I want. I do want, so I'm going to. <laughs> yeah. Ah, oh, it's a grave. I wonder if Gun Grave is down there. Uh, yes. Huh. Ah. Okay. So shall I go to now or just shall I go up to the second floor? Go ahead and drop down. That's my vote. <laughs> There'll probably be zombies and maybe spiders. It's definitely zombies. Ah! Oh, damn, I didn't get the. Get off. Can tell the distance, a noob. It happens to the best of us. <laughs> I'm pretty sure there's not anything down this little side hallway except for more zombies. Maybe shotgun shells. Mm, go have a look. Yeah, lovely. Oh, nearly dead as well. Bloody hell. Oh, there was shotgun shells. Yeah. I, like I didn't see that. <laughs> yeah, there was. Okay, and an ominous door. Is this where I'm going to find Mila Jovovich? Is that how you say her last name? Is it Jov Jovovich? Jovovich? Yeah, that's how I pronounce it. I, I honestly don't know. And I don't know if it's Mia or Mila. Oh yeah, that's okay. a good point. Yeah, I don't know if it's... I think it's Mila. There's an L in it. What is that? 
Is that a spider? Probably. It's my guess. I, have, I don't see it yet. <laughs> oh yeah, you're right, Radar. I think in the library is where that, um... Oh, no, it's, uh... A couple of guys chowing down, so I, I won't disturb their dinner. I want to say it's one of those other emblem things, like you well, picked up that red book, and I think there's a book in the library you've got well, to pick up. Well, this door is locked. All right. I don't know. She said something, and then the door opened. So I guess I must have used the key. You probably either unlocked it or you used it unlocked it. Maybe. I don't know. Because, yeah, like Radar said, this takes you to the kitchen and there's an elevator or a lift. Did you guys say? Uh, yeah, lift. This guy looks ominous. Yeah, he's definitely not oh, dead. Come dead. on. That was a. Oh, and I wasted another shot thinking he was about to get up. From bullets away like candy again. Oh, here's the elevator. So I can't just say both elevator lift. It's all the same to me. <laughs> Are they escalators in America? Yeah, there's escalators. You don't call them like upward stairs or anything. No. Okay. <laughs> Auto stairs. <laughs> Uh, so, is there anything else in there? I swear there's a weird cutscene coming up really, where she suddenly gets scared by a zombie for no reason. Yeah, if you're trying to go out the door. Oh, she's got something to say about the microwave. I don't know. So you think there's going to be something crazy, don't you, because of this cutscene, and it's just another zombie. Yeah, that's so odd. Is that, is that supposed to be like a free... Uh, uh, Think of a word. You know, trying to make you think it's going to be something worse than it is. Oh, I'm not sure. I I don't know if you can come down into the kitchen beforehand. Like, I don't know if it's like one of those early on scares, and then by the time you come in here after all that other stuff, you're just like, whatever. <laughs> yeah, maybe. That it just seems to be a hell of a lot of effort going in to just be a standard zombie enemy. Should ruin its appetite. <laughs> so, um, uh, lift or door? Um, I would definitely use the elevator. Okay. Because, um, that the door just takes you back out to the hallway where you found Kenneth's dead body, and there are oh, okay. some hunters out there, so... No. Yeah, they can, uh, they can go swivel. The hunter. That scene is weird. Yeah, I found it weird as well, right? It just seems to be a lot of effort just to... and it's just a zombie. A zombie that's quite intelligent because he opened the door. But then I suppose that zombie in the first, very first scene opens the door to get shot by Barry, doesn't it? So. Yeah. Piss off. Okay. Where to now then? So, if you uh, walk towards the camera, I think there's a little alcove with some herbs if you want to pick some up oh alcove sorry I'm going to the window like a tit yep <laughs> alright yep I but shall take some herbs 
Yeah. And then I think the library door here is open. He was staggering all over the place, he was. Library door, these double doors here, the blue ones. Yeah. I think this is where you find your first Mo disc, right, Radar? That's if you want to save uh, Chris. Of course. Yeah, I've got room for it. No, actually, speaking of inventory. Chris is our old partner, you know. <laughs> okay, yeah. Because I think there will be a few zombies in here. I think some documents. And then, um, I think a push puzzle or something. You can push something in a specific slot and then it opens up a hidden wall. Okay. I couldn't be ahead of myself. Well, I guess she can lockpick this drawer. Should be able to. What do we got? Oh, some more magnum rounds. Where do we get the magnum from then? Um, later on we... I think this room will take us out near the door we need to get into. Since we picked up that other Spencer Mansion key, we can use it and it'll go into like this trophy room. And you can pull the jewel out of one of the stuff oh, heads. Damn it. it! Oh my gosh. Yeah, that just... That came out of fucking nowhere. And by the time I fumbled my ass with the controls, I was already dead. Sorry, you were saying? Uh, it's coming up. I, I think this will take us out when we leave from this area. It'll take us out close to where we need to be. And then from there, we can just get the stuff to unlock the magnum. How weird is that? That the title to the news report is in English. <laughs> you know, Rack and Week, June, etc. But everything else. I get. I keep saying kanji. This could be katakana. Because I forget Japan has two different um, ways of writing. It's kind of a similar how, you know, China, it's Mandarin and Cantonese. Yeah. Okay. So well, I can't read either. So. Yeah, no, I just keep thinking that I've been saying kanji all the way through, and this actually might be katakana, so I don't want to seem like a complete idiot. More than normal. Right, so I don't know what that was talking about. Does anyone know what that was talking about? I think that's just about the uh, murders and stuff going on before Stars was sent out to investigate. Okay. So I take it this here is what I'm going to be pushing, because it looks like a different colour to it. Oh uh, yeah, I think there's a door behind there, and you can go in there, and I think it just, there's some items you can pick up, and then you see the helipad no. from there. Did I push it the wrong way? I guess I pushed it the wrong way. Okay, so I guess that's ink ribbons. Did, what else did you say was in it? Um, I think if you just walk to the window, ah. she just says something about the helipad. Oh, yeah, she said something, all right. Oh, and there it is, in all its glorious 240p. Cool. And I swear I just saw some ink ribbons and yes I will take them. Okay. Anything on this bookshelf? Nope. Oh, yes. Ah. Some clips, but we've abandoned the handgun so I guess it doesn't matter. That's cool, Mrs. Mum. I mean, um, could you re relate this to Mrs. Mum? Downfall has five separate endings, I believe. Okay. And I only got ending A, and I think there's ending A through E, so 
if she makes different choices than I made, she'll get a different game. Well, a different, slightly different narrative, rather. It is a bloody good game, though, Downfall. I think it was only three parts. It's not a very long game. But if you like Silent Hill and you like kind of weird point and click, it's a really good game to play. Do you, uh, should I take that clip then, Radar? I wasn't going to bother, but I suppose I no, could. No, I, I don't think so. I think he's just saying that you just need an empty space. I'm going to need one, am I? Okay, right. There we go. Yeah. Need to dump off that grenade launcher, right? Well, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not having much luck with these hunters. I keep taking damage from them. Right, nothing else in this library then? Uh, just that door on the other side. Okay. I think this is where you do the mold disc puzzle. Bloody zombie's gonna pop out of nowhere again and even get me. Probably. I can feel it in my bones. I said that already. Right. <sighs> Let's see. Right. Oh, do I have to touch the? Uh... Oh, do I take the crystal or should I leave that and take the mo disc? Um. So you'll have to push that button there and then it'll show, it should show you there's a light I think that comes on and shines on a specific spot. Oh that's a button, oh okay. Yeah. Yep, yeah. yeah, done it. And uh, there'll be a statue in here and you'll need to push that statue in that beam of light. Okay, do. Because that's where the pressure plate is to open up the secret door, or room, whatever. Mm -hmm. Oh come on Jill. That's something I do prefer in Silent Hill. When you have to push something, it's just a—it's an animation, rather than you have to actually try to line up Harry, Heather, James, etc. Never really thought about it. Like I don't I mean, know. It's just part of. <laughs> yeah, I just seem to have real issues pushing stuff. Whereas in, as I noticed, every time you have to push something in Silent Hill, it's always a, do you want to push this? Yes. And then it's a cutscene. Hmm. Okay. That's funny. I've never really, I mean, I've, I know there's a difference, but I've just never paid attention. <laughs> yeah. Right, right so, so here's the, uh, oh, it's a mini disc. Yep. No way. I suppose it was on a Sony platform, so that would make sense. They would use some dead media from Sony. So we have to have, we'll get three total by the time we get to where Chris is. And this is just one. Okay. And if you miss one of them, you can't free them, and then you're just stuck with, I guess, the semi bad ending, because Barry will be alive, but Chris won't be. Okay. We'll try and save Chris. So that's it for here, then, is it? Yeah, the library is completely finished. Lovely. We'll probably have to go clean out your inventory before we can pick up the battery. Battery. Okie doke. Um, where's my nearest inventory? Inventory. Um, where's so my nearest chest? <laughs> So past the elevator, go ahead and continue on down to the end of this hallway. There will be not the first door you'll see, you'll keep going and there will be another door and you go into that. Because this door right here is the room that has like the battery and I think some extra ammo or maybe health or something. 
Okay. So we'll have to come back this way. There might be zombies in this next part. Look at him, he's a little bastard. Come me closer. <laughs> You're staggering all over the place. What are you gonna get? Okay, sounds like someone's chowing down. Is he eating? He's eating a zombie. So it's a zombie eating a zombie. Yeah, but um, it'll rise up if you get close enough, so then you'll have another zombie to kill. I've got to go past him, and I anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Wunderbar. Was it easy? <laughs> A little too easy. <laughs> uh, nothing down there. No, okay. Shit, it's locked. Can I come in there? No. Oh my gosh, so I have to go the long way. That's so stupid. I thought you could unlock it from this end. I've definitely got the key on me, haven't I? Yeah, mm. obviously not that key. Yeah, this is the uh, door with the code, so I thought maybe you could oh, unlock hold it on. the side. This is the code on the side, it's the panel on the side of the door, though. Uh, oh, yeah, man. but she'll automatically punch it in. Oh, right. Oh, okay. But I think since it's on the other side, there's not a panel on this side, then I don't think she's going to punch it in. So I've got to take the elevator down. Back to the kitchen. Right. And then the door up the stairs? Um, radar, would that be the fastest or safest way? Because I know if we go from the kitchen, there's going to be two hunters. <sighs> in the hallway. And they both come at you. Like, it's not just staggered, it's both of them at the same time. Yeah, that's going to be real fun. <laughs> Or we could go the long way and go back to the rope and yeah, climb up. I'm up for the long way. That's my vote. <laughs> well, you're playing. It's, it's your play there. <laughs> well, we want to get through it, so whatever's easiest. Yeah. If you had um, bazooka rounds, I would definitely yeah. suggest taking on the hunters. But since you only have the shotgun and one first aid spray... Yeah, no, that snake took so many hits. I mean, I did throw one away, but still, I mean, that snake took ten, nine, nine grenade rounds and then two shotgun blasts to put it down. I thought you could, because that's... I don't know. I thought you could, though. Well, the rope is still there. So, we're gonna definitely give it a go. <laughs> Well, and everything's dead, except for the ones eating that one zombie body on the floor, but you can just bypass them. Yeah. Don't mind me, guys. Itchy tasty and all that. Oh, as I was saying last week about a composer that pretended he was disabled who worked on this game. Yeah. I looked it up to be more to be clear and apparently the Dual Shock version on the PlayStation had different music. Yes, and, it does. And it was composed by a guy who pretended throughout his composing career that he was deaf. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I, all I can theorise is because the, mu the, the the new music in the Dual Shot version is awful. S yeah, it's not good. Yeah, so all I can theorise is he made music, so it showed it to someone. They said this is awful, and he was like, "Oh, but I'm deaf." 
And then they were like, then their attitude changed. Oh, you're deaf. Oh, this is amazing for a deaf person. Yeah. Yeah, I can't yeah, take the are. rope. You can't? Ah, so we're going to have to do it. No, I can. I can. I said oh, I can. you can. I thought you yeah. said I can't. I was no. like, no. <laughs> but yeah, Radar, you're right. It's that one... Um, the one hallway, I don't know how to explain it, it's just green. I call it the green hallway. <laughs> um, it's the upstairs, above the dining hall, that one door on the right hand side. Oh yeah. And then I you know. go in there, and then that's where you use the code oh. and the key. Yeah, I'd never heard it either. It's pretty crazy. Yeah, I can't remember. Um, he's got a very long Japanese name. Um, if you watch my last part of this that I put on YouTube, I actually put it on the top when I started talking about it, what his name was, and that he pretended to be deaf for, for his entire career until he either got found out or guilt made him confess. I can't quite remember. Well, if he went a long time, it's probably because he got found out. <laughs> yeah. But, I mean, what a thing to do. I mean, but then did you hear about that? Uh, that reminds me, there was um, a Twitch streamer ages ago who pretended he was uh, paralyzed from the waist down. No. And, um, Why do people do that? It's uh, so stupid. But yeah, so he and he pretended this for, for at least a couple of years. I mean, I, Captain Megan knows more about it than me. And then one day, the, the idiot forgot to turn his camera off after streaming and just stood up and walked out of shot. <laughs> you should have been like, it's a miracle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hallelujah. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Pass the tax rebate. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe that. That's... Uh, that's bad karma. <laughs> well, yeah, absolutely. Right, so let's dump. Mamoru Samaragoshi? I'm not really good with yeah, that. Yeah, that's the guy. That's the guy. But I know it's Mamoru. So we don't need that. this MoDisc at the moment, do we? Uh, no. You won't need that until pretty much the labs, so you can stash it for now. Okay. So I should probably take some grenade rounds as well but then oh yeah then I'm gonna save it and uh, dump those ink ribbons speaking of saving it what time are we on? Uh, nine oh right 34. we're still cool still got time right cool um, uh, make a good point radar we'll take those um, that'd be good I read an article probably well it's been a few months I know at least where this woman kept her daughter um, like housebound like she made her fake her illnesses and stuff because the mom wanted to come across as this like loving caregiver you know who whose daughter was really sick oh, what kind of like the woman in six cents yeah like that just and it was just really messed up and finally like the daughter I mean being raised like that obviously it's going to twist your brain well, so yeah. like she got her boyfriend or whoever to murder her mom so she could like get out from under her which of course you know they got caught and then they went to prison and th then it all came out about how the mom was faking the daughter's illnesses making going to the doctor and just it was just awful but yeah it's just we live in a messed up world <laughs> well yeah absolutely I mean, it was like that. Um, it's not not as severe as that, but recently, um, a YouTuber mm -hmm. who eventually got hired by IGN for his reviews got found out that all of his reviews were plagiarized from other people. Yeah, not a shock there. Yeah, and as recent, and then got obviously got fired. Yeah. Because he put up a review of some game. Can't remember what the game was now. Two days after this guy put up his review. And it's literally verbatim. You know, the guy just literally ripped off his review. And, um, you know, put it on Reddit. This guy's, I think this guy's nicked my review. What can I do about it? 
and of course it, it went viral. IGN got involved and uh, you know then looked at his other re no that's it got involved pulled his review then fired him and then the guy went on YouTube and you know didn't uh, tried to apologize but didn't because he couldn't see that he'd done anything wrong yeah. and um, he then he then uh, some other guy from IGN says I'm going to look into his other reviews and see how much of this he's done he was like I dare you to do it so of course he did it and discovered that literally every review he'd ever done he'd ripped off from somebody else and yeah and me and <laughs> me and captain came to the conclusion that he because he'd been doing it for so long he had convinced himself he wasn't doing anything wrong and he basically put himself into such a delusion that you know what he was doing was what everybody does yeah okay sorry what am i doing now um, I would go upstairs to be the fastest way, and then we're gonna go. Yeah, go upstairs, go into like the snake hallway, and then go all the way through, and we'll come out into the main hall. Snake hallway. Uh, yeah. So basically, come towards the camera. Oh, that hallway. When the, you get up the, the first time. Yeah. <gasps> I didn't know you were going to be stood there. Holy shit. I did not know that was there. But I mean, just expect hunters. I'm just going to say that. Uh, they're probably going to be all over the place. Ah, oh, fuck. They're too fucking fast. For my inept control and... Oh. So um, then, it's that one room that's near that um, code door radar. So when you go down that little mini hallway, if you go all the way straight, is the code door. And there's a door on the left, which we're going to use that Spencer key on. And I think it's the last room we have to use that key with. And uh, we go in there and it's the trophy room. And then it's got that paper where it's the first time Umbrella's ever mentioned. Okay, let me stop and... you there. Start again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sorry. Um, <laughs> you know, I was asking about... Um, if the code room reveals the red jewel, but we have we're not there yet. So go in this hallway and then come all the way through it, and then go out into the main hall. If that makes sense, I don't know. Just go through the snake hallway and then come out the other end. And I'm gonna say there's probably at least one hunter in here. Oh, you absolute fucking cunt! Excuse my French. Now you were there for my stream yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, that's very true. Oh, at least they go down in one hit, but fuck me, I, I'm getting a hit every time they appear. I don't think I want the health to deal with this shit. Um, sorry, I'm totally lost now. Which way am I supposed to be going? Okay, so not towards the camera, but the opposite direction. It just feels like the, the final boss to Revelations 1. I couldn't beat that because he was just too fast. That was just a headache. <laughs> okay, I'm back in the hallway. Okay, so go all the way across and go into the doors there. Something moved around. Yeah. Screw you. Ah, oh, you absolute wanker. Why are you ever thinking I'm being clever? Through the door? Yeah. I probably would use a help. Yeah. I feel like you're probably on caution. <laughs> I'm probably on danger. And I'm on caution, right. Okay. 
okay, I just wasted loads of shots there, didn't I? Probably, because I think it was on the opposite side of the rail. Didn't know there was a rail there, because I still haven't got this layout in my head, so that was a good waste of ammunition there, wonderful. So there, we can go ahead and go into the save room downstairs if you want and save it, um, or you can go ahead and do the passcode and the key while we're up here. Do that, it's... then we'll save it because that will pretty much bring us to okay. the end of the stream, won't it? Because we're twenty minutes to the end. So. Okay. Um, let's see. So, yeah. So the door when you turn the corner there, the first door on your left will use the key, and I think it'll be the last room that needs it. Okay. And then that door at the end is what uses the passcode. So what's in this locked door? Unlocked door? Uh, this is the, I guess, trophy room. I call it the trophy room since there's stuffed heads on the walls. Um, there will be a piece of paper that just basically is umbrella saying, Hey, we're trying to cover this up. Let's send stars in. Um, and then there is, there might be some ammo, but I know for a fact that red jewel is in here to get the magnum. Right. We'll definitely get that because I'm going to need more firepower. Okay. Well, I love it already. So, some shotgun shells. Definitely need those. And whatever that is. It's like magnum rounds. Don't you won't pick them up. Maybe I'm not close enough. No, I'm not close enough. Sometimes perspective is a bit odd in this game. Yeah, you just have to be in the right spot. Yeah. <laughs> and there's the piece of paper. Oops. Have I you died in any of it? Have I died in this game yet? I, I can't think of any, so I'm going to say no. Yeah. Thanks for jinxing me, Radar. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I didn't die in Silent Hill 2. I didn't die in Silent Hill 3. I died almost immediately in Silent Hill. <laughs> and um, Because I wasn't keeping an eye on my health. Kind of the same in this. And I haven't died in this yet, but I'm sure that's coming. Yeah. Okay, how do I... Oh, right, ladder. So, yeah, just push the ladder more to where the platform's underneath that deer head, and then go turn the light out. I'll climb the ladder then. No, don't push it, Jill. Climb it. I will take it, yes. Dunker. Cool. So that's it for this room, and then you can just go use the code on the other door, and then we can go in that way, and then go all the way back to uh, that one room we didn't go in that had the battery. Okay, cool. Oh yeah, it's the keypads there on the side. <laughs> Magnum height! I shall also grab these while I'm here. Yeah, it definitely can't hurt. <laughs> I'm gonna worry about the blue one because now the snake's dead. Is there any chance of me getting poisoned? Um, 
I think there may be spiders later on, but there'll be blue herbs there. Okay. So you don't need those. Cheeky git. <laughs> Let's have more of Master of Silent Hill than Resident Evil, but two and three <laughs> mainly. Okay, oh, awesome. More grenade rounds. I'm going to take them. Yes, sirree. Nice. And battery! So that's pretty much it for this, and then after this um, room, and when you save it, uh, I guess it depends. If you call it, then we're done, obviously, but uh, yeah. we can go get the magnum. Uh, how do we get there? Downstairs? Yeah, so basically just go back to where you were earlier, and then go down those stairs, and then if you go through that U-shaped hallway, You'll come out into the hallway where you need to be for the tiger statue. Okay, so back the way I came, yeah? Yes. Yeah, that's yeah. why That's why I didn't do Chris's <laughs> run, because there's no way I think I would have done it. I mean, you start off with a bloody knife, for crying out loud. How are you supposed to fight anything in this game with a knife? I mean, I know they made the knife super OP in um, Code Veronica. Yeah. In 4, you can actually beat Krauser with a knife. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I saw a speedrunner. <laughs> I think I saw a speedrunner do that. I know I saw someone do it. So, uh, down these stairs, did you say? Yeah. There'll be a save room, and then... Alright, better be a bloody hunter as well, so... Go on. Probably. I've got ammo, so... The Hunter. Yep, there's the Hunter, right near the save room. What a get. <laughs> Screw you, I've got auto-aim. Finally, the first hunter that didn't actually damage me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, well we got ten minutes, I reckon that's probably enough to go get this magnum, eh? Okay, yeah, because it's just, you go down the rest of this hallway, into the next area, and then it's just in one of those rooms. Right, so we'll put the battery away for now because we're not going to need it. Um, we'll put the magnum around. Well, no, we're just picking up the magnum, that's it, isn't it? Yeah, I would probably save the magnum for boss fights, like with a tyrant and stuff. Yeah. Or at least that's what I do, Radar. Yeah, well the Tyrant goes down in like <laughs> three shots, doesn't he, from the Magnum? Three or four shots takes out yeah, a Tyrant. I know it's, yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty good against it. Right, let's go. So which way am I going? It's just straight so, down, isn't it? Yeah, just basically when you come out of here, just loop around and then follow the hallway down. I will say there probably will be at least two Hunters, just based off of... What I can remember. There's one already. Might be three, but that could just be including the one in front of the secret. Thankfully, he wasn't looking at me. Those are so scary. <laughs> Which door is it? Uh, all the way down. It's 
fair point. <laughs> Radar Sir Bazooka or Magnum, since you'll have a lot of ammo to spare at the end of the game, so you can't go wrong with either. Fuck! Jesus, get the life out of me! <sighs> Reaction oh. times of an expert there, though. <laughs> Bloody hell. So basically, you just go down that hallway he came out of. <sighs> oh. Reaction <laughs> time is a factor, so please pay attention. <laughs> <sighs> Right. Have another crystal. A monster bending over in underwear. Yeah, the mouth of that uh, the hunter earlier, the one that was under the stairs. Oh, I guess because it like fell forward. <laughs> oh, I'll be, you'd be forgiven for thinking anything with the uh, the graphic quality of this game. Absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. Okay, right. Well, we'll head back and uh, we'll save it, and that will wrap us tonight. So, how much more have we got to do now, then? Um. So after here, you go back to the waterfall area. Use the crank. Use the battery. Then we go through the tunnels, and then after the tunnels is the lab, so not much more. We might can finish it next time, if not it'll be at least two. I don't think it'll be more than two to be honest. Awesome. And then we'll move on to RE3, Jill's last escape. No. Radar says he thinks about two. Yeah, I'm yeah. not sure because I forget how extensive the tunnels and stuff are. No, I would say two because uh, I'm not exactly bolting through, am I? Okay, right. So let's put the magnum away. Uh, everything else is good, but we do need an equipment. There's, there's one loose somewhere, I swear there's just one. There it is. Okay. Absolutely, Miss Valentin. We shall save it. Save it there. Ah, <sighs> well, I managed to survive our first outing with a hunter, though I was expecting not to. So that is definitely a plus for me. Gonna, that'll be a notch on my belt. Okay, so yeah, we might as well end there. I know it's five minutes earlier than what I normally do, but I'm probably going to waffle now for five minutes, so that should be fine. Okay, so yeah, so that will wrap tonight's uh, episode of Biohazard. So, as we mentioned, we've most likely got two left. And hopefully I can fight the tyrant off, and then I finally blow him up with rocket launch, don't I, on the helipad? Yep. Yep. So, yeah. And then, once that's finished, I'm considering moving on to Resident Evil 3. Uh, Nemesis or The Last Escape. Now I have both. I have America, I think it's the US version and I also have the Japanese version. Obviously the Japanese version I think only differs in that it's called The Last Escape. And obviously everything will be in Katakana or Kanji. So how are you with RE3? Um, I probably remember more of it than I did too. Yeah? So. So do you think yes. it would be, what do you reckon, would it be viable to do it in English or do you think we could do it in Japanese? Um, because it's been so long, I'm going to say English. Okay. Well, like <laughs> I said, I, like, unlike this, I'm not sure if there's many differences between 
the Japanese and the Western versions. In fact, I think there might the West, the Japanese version might actually be censored because it was around that time that they started doing their rating system. The reason why this game isn't is uncut, shall we say, is because this game came out before they introduced uh, Ciro, uh, C E R O, which is their version of uh, Peggy or what the hell is the American one called? M F A A is it or something? Uh, there's M A for mature. Yeah, I can't remember whatever your classification board is. I can't remember what the name of it is. Oh, I can't remember. Yeah, yeah, I, <laughs> I, I do know, but right at this minute in time, I can't pull it from memory. But um, so yeah, so that's the reason why Resident Evil is censored in the West is because obviously we had those rating system introduced because of Mortal Kombat and Night Trap. Whereas in Japan they didn't have them, and then I don't know what there was something. There was a game that came out that f made them do it. I don't think it was this game, but obviously this game came out before their classification, so this is why this game is completely uncut. Yeah. But I think that RE3 will probably be cut, so it probably would be better off just to play the Western version. Now I've got it on PlayStation One, but I've also got the PC version. Mm -hmm. So I think I'll have a go at trying to get the PC version working, but it's it's a Windows. No, it's I think it's a DOS game actually. So yeah, that might not work. But I can always I can always fall back on the PlayStation one because PlayStation one emulation is easy. Yeah. Um, but we'll worry about that another time. So yeah, getting back to the point. That concludes tonight's episode. So thank you very much to everyone that has joined us tonight. I hope it's been entertaining. Uh, I will be back, uh, well we will be back uh, hopefully on Friday for what I do believe is going to be the last part of Tomb Raider. Yep, it will be. Hopefully. Last one. If I can yeah. kill the giant baby monkey thing and also kill Natla. Yes. So fingers crossed that I've got better skills than I have with hunters. <laughs> Uh, and then Saturday, because I finished Downfall last Saturday, this Saturday I'm going to have another look at Gemini Roo. So we'll finally do part two of Gemini Roo, a game I've been promising to go back to for what feels like nearly a year. I know it's not that long, but it certainly <laughs> feels like it. Yeah. Um, and then Sunday will be, I don't think it'll be the last episode, but we're certainly getting close to the end of Silent Hill. And uh, hopefully this Sunday, AJ will be able to join me. She couldn't join me last Sunday because she was too busy with her own work. So we'll see. But she definitely is going to be joining us for when I do Silent Hill 4. Because she knows that game back to front, apparently. Okay, so nice. that, Yeah, so that'll be really handy. That's the thing. I like to get you experts in when I'm playing games. I've got no clue of what I'm doing. <laughs> I wouldn't call me an expert. <laughs> well, sure. in comparison to me, you're certainly an expert. Um, and then, yeah, then um, next Monday I might stream some more cartoons because we did Earthworm Jim this Monday, which seemed to go down quite well with people. So next Monday I might do some old ass anime or something. I might actually call Mondays old ass animes and <laughs> we'll just stream random anime. Um, and then next Wednesday we will continue with Biohazard on the sake of Saturn. So that will be a wrap. Uh, say goodbye, Swifty. Goodbye. Thanks for tuning in. All the best. <laughs>